What's up guys? Here we are. And how was your weekend? I was pretty good. Had the guys over at the place on Friday and we were playing some Call of Duty. Getting ready for Modern Warfare 3, which I am excited for. I can't speak for you guys because I don't know, it seems like there's mixed feelings for Modern Warfare 3. I, I personally am excited. So, we were playing a little Call of Duty this weekend with the guys. Um, Friday, or Saturday, went out to the casino with a couple other friends. Didn't play anything. Long story. Well, long story short, we were in the casino, left to get something to eat, came back, and they wouldn't let one of my friends in because it, they said it didn't look like him. His, his license didn't look like him, which it did. It looked like him. But they said, nope, can't come in. This is after we had already been in the casino, and they weren't going to let us in the second time. We're all about 25. So that was a little bummer. But, oh well, it makes for a good story. Uh, Sunday night, for those of you who follow me on Twitter, you know I went to a concert, and all I could smell was steak. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what was going on, but halfway through the concert, I'm just... I'm just smelling steak being grilled. It, it smelled delicious, I wasn't complaining, but... It was just there. I thought it was humorous. And one of my followers said that was him. Corey Liss, I think, is his name. So, if I would have seen you there, Corey, I would have dropped by and asked you for a T-bone steak. Please. T-bone steak, please. Um, that joke was stupid. Anyway, um, yeah, so that was Sunday. Yeah, concert, right. Hap I'm happy to report to you guys my face is doing better every day. I wake up every morning and I get a little more motion back, which is awesome. And today... I am almost 100%. I think by tomorrow I'm going to be 100%. So, I'm going to record, maybe I'll record my face tomorrow. Do a little vlog thing, whatever you want to call it. Show you guys 100%. Let you know everything's okay. And, um, yeah. That's that. But, thanks guys for, for all the kind words, like I said. It's really been encouraging, and, um, yeah, it's just helped me get through this a little easier, but looks like we beat it, and I got a full face, <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, Tower of Ordeals still going up, a uh, new episode should be coming up soon, let's see, what else is going on? That's pretty much it. I'm working on some new series. Um, I don't have, I don't have too much time. Like I feel like the most time that I'm gonna be spending on these next few series is just making uh, the intros and the graphics and stuff for them. Which I don't know. That's part of that's that's one of my favorite things about this whole YouTube thing. Making that, making intros and backgrounds and music stuff like that but it just takes a little time so but thanks you thanks for being patient but new stuff coming up soon new series coming up soon which I'm not gonna tell you about yet um, actually if you follow me on Twitter I'm, I'm planning on um, putting up a picture that will hint hint you in to my to one of my new series so if you follow me on Twitter, get ready. Actually, it might already be up by now. We'll see. 
Oh, uh, let's see, what else? Oh, in this video I wanted to present you guys with another thought that I had recently. Um, me and my shoulders getting tired. <laughs> um, I just had this thought today. Yeah, just, I don't know, I just kind of remembered a life lesson. I just woke up, I'm getting ready for work, I'm on my way to work, just having my day as normal, as usual, and I'm just realizing that I'm going through life and one of my, one of my main priorities, even though I, I'm not planning it to be this way, but I'm realizing one of my main goals in life is not to mess up, not to make mistakes. And today, after thinking about it and realizing that I have that mindset in the back of my mind, I'm realizing how foolish that is and how counterproductive that is to any success or, or chances I might take. Which... I don't know, I still feel like I take chances and and I, you know, I go for things. But this this does hold me back a little sometimes. I don't want to make mistakes. I I consider myself kind of a perfectionist. Um so that kind of I don't know, that kind of holds me back sometimes from things just cuz I want things to be done right, and because of that, it makes me not want to make mistakes. Which, who wants to make mistakes? Nobody does. But, after thinking about it, I just remembered that that's what it takes to grow. That's what it takes to to progress. Um, for me, it's just becoming more apparent in my life because... I've, I've started this new job a few months ago, and I'm in I'm in the training process. It's it's a year process, and I'm just going, and you know I don't want to make mistakes. And and at the end of this year, they're going to decide whether or not they want to hire me as a full time employee. And so I just have this mindset where if I make too big of a mistake. Uh-oh, cop here. Camera down. Camera up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't know if a cop's gonna pull me over for doing this, but might as well be safe, right? Okay, where was it going? Oh, yeah. So they're, you know, I want, I would like to be hired at the end of this year. So the thoughts just go through my mind. I don't want to make such a big mistake that they're not going to hire me. And that's just a bad mentality to have. It just makes me second guess myself sometimes. It makes me, um, prevents me from taking more chances and, and just doing things the best that I can. So, I was just thinking about that this morning, and I was with my supervisor. He was talking to someone else, but in my head I'm just thinking, I was telling myself, don't be afraid to make mistakes. And as soon as I said that in my head, my supervisor said, don't be afraid to do blah, blah, blah. He was talking to another person about something, but he said, don't be afraid to do something. He said that the instant I said in my head, don't be afraid to make mistakes, and I just, I don't know, you might think that sounds silly, but, I just took that as a little indication to me, letting me know that this is important. And I just, I just wanted to share it with you guys, because I think it is important. Maybe you guys don't struggle with this. I know tons of people who I just feel like, man, it seems like, it seems like they just aren't afraid to make mistakes. And you know, sometimes. Sometimes it can be a bad thing if you're not afraid to make mistakes in a bad way, like doing something wrong. 
like cheating on your girlfriend or boyfriend or something, that's a mistake. And, you know, don't, don't be like, well, I'm not afraid to make this mistake, I'm gonna do it. Don't apply it to something like that, but something like just accidents. Um, so, you know, you still gotta be smart. But I'm realizing I'm getting to about 10 minutes, so I'm gonna wrap this up. So, basically, that kind of just hit me hard, and it was just very encouraging to me to, it was, a, it was, it's something I learn in my life. It's one of those things I forget and then have to relearn. But I wanted to share it with you guys. Don't be afraid to make mistakes in life. When we fail, when we fail, that's, that's how we learn. That's how we grow. You mess up, you learn from it, you learn what to do better next time. Then you're more equipped next time. You, you don't forget it. You don't forget what happened last time, what you, what you got to do in the future. It makes us stronger and better people. So, I just want to pass that on to you guys. Hopefully, you guys find that encouraging and helpful. And maybe, maybe you guys don't struggle with this at all, and that's cool. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so, there you go. There is, there is your thought of the day, and this video is getting very long, so I'm going to cut it here. Thanks for driving with me, guys, and I'll be talking to you later.